Welcome back gamers to the official Zap Hosting YouTube channel. My name is Ellie and in today's tutorial I will show you how to set up a satisfactory server on your Windows VPS. So let's get started. First I will show you how to get a Windows VPS server. If you own one already, skip the video to the provided timestamp on the screen. Now navigate to the root server bar, select VPS Hosting and then click on Windows VPS Hosting. Here you can configure a server to your liking. You can change the server location, RAM, CPU cores, disk space, IP addresses, bandwidth and the operating system. Finally select a payment method and confirm your order. But before you do that, here is a little gift from us. 50% off voucher code which you can use by clicking here on use voucher and typing satisfactory minus VPS. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now click on your VPS server and wait for the server to finish the installation. Once the installation completes, navigate to the settings tab. Here create an administrator password that is needed in order to log in via remote desktop app. After that click on save. Now copy your service IP and launch the remote desktop app on your PC. Click on show options. In the computer tab paste in the IP to your server. The username will always be administrator by default. Now click connect and type the password which is the one you defined earlier and click OK. After successfully connecting to the machine, create a folder on your desktop and name it however you like. For example, I will call it Satisfactory Server. Now open Google Chrome and paste in the link that you will find in the video description. Here scroll down until you find the download link and click on download. Once the download finishes, feel free to close this window. Now open the file explorer, go to the downloads folder, open the steam file that you just downloaded and drag and drop the contents into the folder you created earlier. After that, double click steam cmd and wait for the installation to finish. After it finishes, write down the following command, login anonymous. Then paste in the command that you will find in the video description. Installation of satisfactory dedicated server will now begin, which can take a couple of minutes, so sit back and relax. After a successful installation, feel free to close this window. Now open the folder you created earlier again. Here you will find a bunch of new files. Go to Steam Apps, Common, then satisfactory dedicated server. Here you will find the files of your satisfactory server. In order to start your server, you will need to create a start file. To do so, click on view and then check file name extensions. Now right click to create a new text document and call it however you like, but make sure to change the .txt to .bat and click on yes. Open the file with Notepad++ and paste the following command that you can find in the video description and on the screen right now. Save the file, close the window and double click the file to start the server. A message of missing Microsoft visuals will appear. Accept the incoming message and confirm the installation. Once the installation finishes, close down CMD window as you will now need to unlock the ports in the firewall in order to join the server. Open the search bar, search for Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security and click on it. Navigate to inbound rules, click on new rule, click on port and then next. Here select UDP and write the exact numbers as me, 15777 and click on next. Make sure allow the connection is selected, here all the boxes must be checked, in this will create whatever name you like and click on finish. Now click on new rule again, select port, then next. Once again select UDP and write 15000 and click on next. Make sure allow the connection is selected, here all the boxes must be checked, in this will create whatever name you like and click on finish. Then once again click on new rule, select port, then next. Again, select UDP and write 7777 and click on Next. Make sure allow the connection is selected, here all the boxes must be checked, create whatever name you like and click on Finish. Now navigate to Outbound Rules and repeat the same process as before by creating only UDP Outbound Rules with the same port numbers.
After that, feel free to close the window and start the server by double-clicking on the file that you created earlier and wait for the server to come online, which can take a couple of minutes. Now launch Satisfactory on your PC. Here navigate to the Server Manager and click on Add Server. Here you will need to copy and paste your server's IP address. Navigate back to your ZAP interface and copy the VPS IP. Go back to Satisfactory, paste it into the address field and click Confirm. A message will appear, so name the server however you like. Click Confirm and set an admin password to edit the settings in the future. You will now need to create a game. To do so, navigate to the Create Game bar and choose the map you would like to play on. Name the session however you like and click on Create Game button. You can now successfully connect to the server. To do so, navigate back to the status bar and click on Join Game. As you can see, you have now successfully connected to your own satisfactory server. Enjoy! That's it for today. If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now, have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your new Zap server.